Welcome to the Spell Grace. This is Pastor Shogun Obadje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's a beautiful week and God sent me to tell you to build a stable consciousness of victory. Hallelujah. Our oneness with Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Oneness with him simply means born of him, born of his word, born of his spirit. And now we have come to understand how that he is the head of the body, the body of Christ. All right. His headship is for our advantage. Praise God. It is unto us for advantage. Hallelujah. Now the Bible tells us in um, Ephesians chapter 1, we start reading from verse 19. All right, Christ is the head of all principality and power, and we are his body, so we are one with him. Praise God. And the Bible tells us, it says, what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power, verse 20, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come, and had put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him which filleth all in all. Now, what does that mean? Simply means that God has raised the Lord Jesus Christ um, far above all principality and power and dominion and might and every name that is named to one end, that his body, the church, the body of believers might enjoy fellowship with the head, the rulership, the lordship of Jesus Christ and then use or engage this oneness with the head over principalities and powers. Glory to God. We engage it over principalities and powers. Amen. Over needs. He's our sufficiency. Praise God. Now, this is very powerful. Now, understanding that you are one with the head, Jesus Christ, simply means that everything that is head of or head over, you are head of or head over. Praise God. Amen. That means we are one with him in his lordship. We are one with him in his headship over principalities and powers, over sicknesses and diseases, over lack. We are one with him. Praise God. Now, think about this. It gives you a stable and a rich con consciousness of victory. You know that you're one with him. And then you know that his lordship is your lordship. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can exercise authority in his name. Praise God. Over lack. Amen. You see, we are reigning with him. He's always with him. All right. In relation to what he has done for us. Hallelujah. In regard to what he has done for us. That's what it's all about. Praise God. It's with him. That's the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. We are one with him. Amen. We're walking in the light of our oneness with him. We're walking in the light of the word. We're walking in the light of God's word. And we're walking in the light of the spirit of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we are one with him. Think about this. We are one with him. Romans chapter 8 and verse 17. The powerful scriptures. It says we are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. Praise God. We are heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Glory to God. Amen. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. You know, what it means is this. If Jesus Christ had $10,000, praise God. It's, it's not like, you know, now that we are joint heirs with him, you know, we have $5,000 and then, you know, it takes the remaining five. No. Praise God. It means he's got access to $10,000. We've got same access to $10,000. Joint heirs with Christ. Praise God. That's who we are. Amen. Think about this. Let it be your meditation. You will build a rich and a stable consciousness of victory. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed. God bless you.